I wonder if that's going to work as the thumbnail. I realize I need to do those more often. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do one of these. DaVinci Resolve 18.5 as a public beta dropped over the weekend. Go ahead and take a look at that and all the cool features that it now has. Uh, there's a lot of small ones, a few big ones, including auto-generated captions, which deserves its own video itself just because that's something that's long awaited. I know Premiere has been doing it for a while, but very nice to finally have that here. But the biggest feature for me at least is actually the audio transcription, which I find incredibly powerful. I'll show you here in this video, I'll take you through a scenario of what an event looks like using this tool, but you can also use this very well in interviews. You can do it in documentaries, webinars, weddings, or any type of like e-learning type stuff. You name it. There's so many different ways in which you can use this. In fact, I made a whole other half of this video that I scratched because I didn't want to waste your time, but it's the same process. It's the same process. So I cut that. This here is a clip that I was given by the client. It's about an hour and five minutes. And there's some music. There's a pretty long speaker session in there as well. And so here's how we use this properly. We right click here, go to transcribe audio, and I'm not gonna wait through this whole thing. Five minutes later. Okay, now that the transcription is all done, you can take a look here at how long it is. Obviously, it was an hour and five minutes, songs, a speaker. So if I'm making this video for this event, and I have this clip, and I want to integrate some of the main audio of this clip into the video, right? Maybe he says something really powerful that we want and I have a clip of it. I want to be able to use that audio. It carries the story of the event much further when you're able to incorporate that audio. I'm not necessarily after the visual of this clip. So here's why I like it. I can go to this other clip that I have from my B-roll and I can listen in where he says, let's play this back. So Cindy Lou who going back to the grinch, she was a nobody. Cindy Lou Who. So that's all I know. Going back to the Grinch, he had something to say in this portion. I really like this shot. Maybe I captured something in his speech that I like from that. So what I can do is I can take this. Man, I hope I know how to spell Cindy Lou Who. But I'm going to hit this search piece right here. And I'm going to type in Cindy. Okay. And it brought it up there at the bottom. And here's what happens when I click on this in the transcription, it takes it to that part in the video itself. So now here, let's play it back. Lou Who going back to the ground. She was a nobody. She's practically ignored by her parents. That is so cool to be able to have. So what I can do now is I can highlight that just like that. And it will set an in and out point on the clip in that exact spot. So I'm going to click and drag that into the timeline. And let's just like pop in on that and see what we're cooking with. Let's make sure that that is there. Lou Who going back to the Grinch. She was a nobody. She's practically ignored by her parents. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clip that I had of that moving shot. I'm going to highlight them and I'm just going to auto align real quick based on waveform. Let that analyze. So now that it's all done, let's mute the B roll track. I'm just going to deactivate it real fast by hitting D and let's check it out. Let's even extend this out just a bit. Of influence. So Cindy Lou Who going back to the grand, she was a nobody. She's practically ignored by her parents. Great, so you see how that works now that I can bring that just by searching. Otherwise, what I'd have to do is I'd have to listen for keywords throughout the speech. Maybe I was there in the room or maybe I just watched the entire speech all at once. It's now so much faster because I don't have to spend that time searching for it just manually. I can just search by a keyword here in this spot up here on a clip that I already have and I can match those up and integrate that into my event promo, event highlight, whatever it is. This is an incredibly powerful tool in this case and I don't want you to miss it. Hope you enjoyed that. Continue watching some of my other videos or you can stop here and go, I don't know, try out this tool or something. But it means a lot to me if you hit that like button, that'd be really cool. Or maybe even subscribe. Oh, subscribe or maybe even like a like that'd be so cool that's it bye